somebody. Because see, you never emailed me before. You always knew how to call me before. Come on. So I'm going to treat you the way that you ought to treat me. And that is you ought to give me the respect to call me up. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And when she, when she talked to me, she said, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, that I said that. And, you know, we talked, and I said, well, you know, if you have a problem or something, call me. Let's talk. Amen. Amen. Don't do it in the email. Amen. Because, you know, emails, you incriminate yourself. Y'all didn't know that. Amen. See, I'm talking about business. We can't, we can't do business in the church because we get too personal with people. We, oh, can somebody help? We get too familiar. She said, I'm so sorry. And I said, you know, I'm sorry too. Amen. Praise God, because the damage had been done. And you see, we say words will never hurt us. Oh, yes, they will. Y'all don't like this kind of stuff. Because y'all want the sweet cookie candy stuff. But I want to tell you what the word says. The word is to pull down strongholds because the enemy. Every day will come against you. He's on his job. You got to be on your job. That's why Jesus told Father, prepare me a body. I'll go. He said, He came into the zone and his own received them not. But as many as received them, to them he gave the power to become the sons of God. Don't you know you're a son of God? And he says, if you ask anything in my name, it shall be given unto you. And then I hear him say, every valley shall be exalted. The mountains and the hills made low. The rough places smooth, the crooked places straight. God's doing something in this season, but we got to speak the word. Glory to God. Yeah. Isaiah prophesied this 760 years before Jesus was ever born. For unto us, verse 6. A child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. He says, that's what you call me. I'm your everything. I'm your heart fixing your mind regulator. I'll fix your heart when you're in tears. I'll cause you to see the sun again. The other day he woke me up. He said, you will rejoice again. I was so hurt. Y'all don't want to help me in here. Thank you, Jesus. He said, you will rejoice again, Joe. I said, thank you. That's all I need to hear. And I got up and started rejoicing. You know why? Because his good was evilly spoken of. Let me get to the message. He says, what's my name? Wonderful. You ought to never call him anything but wonderful. Wonderful. He says so many things, and then we say, Well, why, why did you do that, God? Why did you? Why not? Welcome to life. You're going to go through something. You're going to be persecuted. You're going to be lied on. Come on, somebody. You're going to be talked about. I've never seen the most talkative people get upset when somebody talks about them. What you put out comes back to you. Isaiah. Timothy 3. I'm almost through. See, the tidings of comfort and joy. That's the message. That's the gospel. The gospel isn't bad news. The gospel is good news. Amen. Amen. You ought to tell somebody the good news what Jesus has done. 
Has he done anything for you? Has he delivered you? Has he brought you out? Did he deliver you from God? But we forget. How quick we forget. When we get in trouble, we praying down. But when he comes and delivers us out of it, amen, we forget. We back to it. And he wants us to remember. That's why he told the, the, the Israelites, he said, put me on your walls. Write my word on your wall. We got Tupac on our walls and Lil Wayne and all these other people. We need to put the word of God on our walls. Come on. Put it on the front lips. Put it on the earring. Unto us the child is born. And his name shall be wonderful counselor. He's the one you talk to. You don't have friends? Come on, yeah. All right. I thought you were friends. Well, that's, that's the mistake you made, honey. I don't have, I don't have any friends. No, no. Uh-uh. My friend is Jesus. He's the friend that's still closer than the bar. That's who I put my trust in. See, people will disappoint you every time. And God told me that I caused them to disappoint you. So that you will put your trust in me. Some may boast in horses and some may boast in chariots, but you will boast in the name of the Lord. You will learn how to boast in me. Look at this, and I'm almost to Isaiah 53. It's the season to forgive. I bet you're going to forget. You don't never hear me say that. Forget and forget. Uh -uh. Remember. <laughs> Remember, you won't make that mistake again. You don't like this kind of stuff, but forgive. And you know how you know when you're really forgiving somebody, you don't feel it in here. See, when somebody calls their name, you still feel it in the pit of your stomach, out of your bowels, come from passion. You still got an issue with, with, with him. You still got to go to the cross with him or her. You still got to hello somebody. Isaiah. 53, I'm almost through. <laughs> but if I'm really forgiving you, I'm not going down that road anymore. But you can't hurt me anymore. I'm over it. Y'all don't like this kind of stuff. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Time to move on. We don't even need to talk about that anymore. Yeah, right. Hallelujah. Yeah. You forgave me. I, I hope you forgave me. I forgave you. Let's, let's go. Let's go on. Because I've learned. I made a big mistake. And I won't make that mistake anymore. He who the sun sets free. Isaiah 53. In verse 1. I love this scripture. And I love Isaiah. His words are like poetry. And his prophecies all came to pass. And this was a man who went through something to write like he wrote. He's the only one that saw Jesus on the cross and wrote about it. God trusted him. Can God trust you? You know, you're going to have to go through something. This is going to be a season of testing. Did you pass the test? Oh, are you still in, you still in kindergarten? Or you want to go to the next level? Because God's going to test you. Can I trust you with my word? Can I put my word in you? 
Can I take you to the nations with the word that's in you? Will you 